This is number 12 of test two of the practice test for AccuPlacer. Which of the following is equivalent to the expression above? Now, I underlined expression just to remind you that this is an expression because it does not have an equal sign after it. If it said like equals 20, then it would be an equation. But since it doesn't have an equal sign, it's an expression. So let's write this out and figure out what to do. So we have 4, and then we have in parentheses x plus 5 plus 4x plus 8. Now, we're going to go and do the PEMDAS, and just to remind, let's do a little review. Now, first thing we would look at is the parentheses. Now, x plus 5, you can't do anything with that, so that one goes away. We have exponents. We don't have anything with an exponent on it, so that goes away. Now, multiplication and division, division get grouped together, so these can go back and forth. There is no division in here, but when you have a number before the parentheses, that is multiplication. So we do have this one. We have m. So, what we need to do is we need to distribute this 4 to the x and the 5. And we're going to multiply. 4 times x is 4x plus 4 times positive 5 is 20. Now, this is where people get mixed up sometimes. They might remember to do the 4x, but then they'll just bring down the 5, and that's not what you do. Now, this parenthesis ends here, so you don't do any more multiplication, so you're done here. So I'm going to bring down everything else. Now, there's no more, there's no division, so that goes away. Now, addition and subtraction, we just go straight across. Now, what we're doing, if you notice, it's all addition. So once you get to a, just addition and subtraction, you combine like terms. So we're going to combine. Like terms. And I always enjoy doing this because anytime I see this big, messy, long equation, I always liked it when I could make it shorter and I could shrink it. So I notice that we have 4x, which is the same as 4 times x, and I have another 4x. So when they have the same variable and the same exponent, so there's no exponent there, so this is x to the first, x to the first, you can put them together. You just add them together. So we have 4x plus 4x, they combine, combine like terms, to 8x. Then we have a constant, which is just a number of 20 plus 8. So 20 plus 8 is 28. And that's it. That All of this gets turned into that. And then you're done. So then we check to make sure that our answers are there. And we look and we say, oh, not there, not there, not there, not there. Now, once we have this, we can say, well, that answer isn't there. So we have to find what equals this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and I'm going to look at each one of these. Now, 8x plus 13, it's definitely not going to be that one. So that can get crossed off. 5x plus 17, that doesn't work. Then that leaves us with these two. So let's look at these things individually. So what I want to do is I want to look at this one and that one. Let's start with the bottom one first. So we have 8 times x plus 4. So I want to multiply 8 times x and 8 times 4. So 8 times x is 8x. And then the next one is 8 times 4 is a positive 32. So this and this, this one gets crossed off. So that leaves us only that one. And I know that's the right answer, but let's just check. So here we have 4 times 2x plus 7. So 4 times 2x is 8x plus 4 times 7 is 28. And you can see these two indeed match. So this is equivalent to that. They're the same. So this is your right answer. I don't know if this is a 
trick question. What they did is they factored out the four from here. So they divided this by four and then they divided this by four, which is the same as this. So it's not a really a trick question, but both answers were right. Depending on the teacher, if you're in a class where they tell you to factor out any common factors, then this would be the right answer. But if they don't tell you that, you could have put that and you wouldn't have gotten in trouble.